Hello, this is Johnny from the account support team here at Skiddle. And today we're gonna to look at how to add tickets with a password on them. So maybe you're selling tickets and you only want specific customers to purchase said ticket. You can add a password to them so that they only show up or are only purchasable once the password has been entered. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to log on to the beta promotion center. Once you're on there on the dashboard, scroll down and select on the event that you're looking to add the tickets to. So for this one, we're gonna use this test event here. Going to manage tickets and view tickets. If you already have some tickets set up, you'll be able to see the ones that you've already got. If not, it will take you straight into getting your tickets added. But for this, we're gonna click add tickets. So you just wanna fill in the information as you go along. So call this general admission, put a price of 10 pound, and we're gonna sell 500 of them. Going to the view advanced options section, and then ticket visibility. Scroll down and you'll see this section here that says visibility. It's currently set to available to public. For this one, we're gonna change it to password protected. You now see that a new option has popped up. This is entirely optional whether you have the ticket displayed um, before uh, the password is entered or if you have it hidden until the password is entered. Uh, so essentially, if it is showing before the password is entered, it will appear on the listing with a little padlock next to it indicating that it is password protected. Or if it's hidden, it will only show up once the password has been entered. We're gonna go with the hide until password is entered option for this one. Click on add ticket. And then you can see that it's been added down here but it's got a little open padlock icon. So you need to click onto the little padlock and this is where you can set your passwords and decide how you want this to run. So first of all, you need to give your list a name. Uh, so for this test one, we'll just call it test password. Now this option here is whether you allow the password to be entered more than once or if it's just for a single use. So perhaps you're running a campaign, a marketing campaign and you want everybody to have the same password, then you could go with yes put in your password here and then people will be able to use that multiple times. Or maybe you're creating individual unique codes that will be able to be used by uh, one customer and then that password is no longer in use. We'll go with this one for this example. And with this box here, we can automatically generate 10 passwords or as many passwords as you like. You can enter, you know, whatever you like. We're gonna go with 10 for this and click generate. Now you see down here that's created 10 passwords for us. So with those, you can then give those passwords out to your customers and they'll be able to use them to unlock this uh, ticket that we've created. Or if you didn't want to generate them, you can just type them yourself. So for example, we can have test one, test two, and so on. Uh, but again, for this example, we will use 10 randomly generated ones. Get rid of those there. Hit save passwords, and you can see now that we've got a little yellow padlock just to show that those tickets are now password protected. Going back in, we can see the passwords again. I'm just going to grab one of those just to show you how that works on the listing. So we go back onto view all events, click onto the name of it, go to the public listing, and here now you can see this little box that's appeared that wouldn't have been there until the password ticket was created. Clicking on unlock will give you the little password box. Pop in one of those passwords, click apply, and there we go. Our password protected ticket is available now for purchase. You can see it's got a little unlock button next to it just to show that the password has unlocked that specific ticket. And that's the basics of using passworded tickets on Skiddle. If you do need any more advice on how to use this, you can head to help.promotioncenter.co.uk where we have a number of different guides on how to use this. Thanks for choosing to list your events with Skiddle.